Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how can we write a code or a MATLAB code for a trapezoidal rule. So I'm going to show you two different examples here. For the first example, we're going to define a vector x here using the command lin space. Lin space is something that we use to represent a space vector. But then we have to specify the minimum value and the maximum value of our integral. So let's say minimum limit is maybe negative 2. And then our maximum limit is, let's say, 4. And how many elements that we want? So if you look at this box here, it appears lin space x1, x2, and n. So x1 here represent the minimum value of your limit, as x2 is your maximum value of your limit, and n here stands uh, for the number of points or number of elements that you want. So let's say I just want two points, okay? So two points means there is only two points in the vector, so which is the a and the b, negative 2 and negative n4. So there is only one spacing. And then we're going to introduce our function, which is uh, y. So our function would be 1 minus x, 1 minus x minus 4 times x to the power of 3, okay, plus 2 times x to the power of 5. And that is our uh, function. Maybe just put here. This is the function. We need, we need to integrate. This is the x points. So we're going to introduce a variable here, which probably I would say um, my integral. And we're going to use a command in MATLAB, which what we call as traps or trap Z. So this traps or trap Z is embedded in MATLAB. It's, it, it is meant for trapezoidal rule. So how to use it? It's just parentheses and then you have to mention your x vector and then your function, right? Your y. Oh, sorry. Your y. And then I'm going to put this so that it doesn't repeat in the command column. It, it won't appear. And then I'm going to put f, print f, uh, the value of integration is percentage. I'm going to raise my f, my integral. Okay, and that's it. So let's try to run this. So, as you can see, what appears here, this is our data, negative 2 and 4. So, the value of the integration uh, from negative 2 and 4 is this much. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, let's say I want to have um, maybe two segments. So, if there are two segments, we need three data points. So, this is 3. And let's see, let's run this. See, it gives you three data points. So if we want uh, four segments, so we're gonna we're gonna need five data points. All right. So let's run this. See, it's giving us five data points from negative two until four. So this is the integration value. Okay. Next is I'm gonna do another example. Let's say you are not given any function, but you are given a set of data points. So what do you have to do? So first and foremost, this is definitely very easy. So you just need to specify what are your data points. Let's say zero and zero point one two and zero point two four. Okay. So you let's say you only have three data points, and then your y variable is equals to 0 0.2 and 1.31 and then 1.45 okay next is so i'm going to put this here so that it won't appear in my common window 
So I'm going to put an I here, which represents the integral. So using the trap Z command from this MATLAB. So we need to specify our X and Y vector. So this is our X and this is our Y. And then don't forget our semicolon. And then put display. Or we can put F print F. So I'm probably giving you a lot of options here in MATLAB. You can ask the MATLAB to print out anything using either display or F print F. So the approximate integration, the approximate integral. I think the approximate integral is equals to display i okay let's try to run this so that is our integration trapezoidal rule so what if you wanted to see all of the data so if you wanted to see all the data just remove all the semicolon here uh -huh. and then let's remove everything so run section So these are your x data, and this is your y data. So the integral is calculated for you to 5, 6, 2. And your final answer, the approximate integral, equals to 0.2562. And that's it. Thank you.